What's going on friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lane and I'm a nurse and nurse practitioner student. And in this video, I wanted to quickly kind of address a question that I got from an undergrad nursing student this week. And I feel like this is a question that a lot of nursing students and a lot of new grads wonder about. So I wanted to hopefully shed some light, share my experience. Um, so the question was, how long did it take me to feel comfortable and confident as a new nurse? And honestly, the answer to this is kind of complex and it's going to vary from person to person based on your background. But I wanted to kind of share how I was when I started out as a new grad nurse and how long it took me to not really feel anxious when I was coming to work. All right, so let me get into this. So to better explain kind of my process as I've grown as a nurse, I wanted to bring up Patricia Benner's uh, concept of novice to expert. She talks about how nurses go through these different phases as they are increasing their nursing skills and knowledge and overall clinical judgment. And I felt like after seeing that theory, which honestly, I hadn't seen that theory in undergrad nursing school, but when I was in a new grad nurse, a new grad residency program, they talked about that and it really helped me to kind of connect some dots. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but I hope that this, this image kind of helps you a little bit to kind of see the steps and I'll kind of talk about what my individual process was in those steps. So to be really honest with you, the first, at least the first six months as a new grad, I was extremely anxious coming to work. I was anxious about would I do a med error? Would I hurt someone? Would I miss something? It, it, it was the pressure of feeling like, you know, people's lives are actually in my hands. And what if I make a mistake because I just don't know a lot? And I think that that's a very common uh, emotional process to be going through. Most of the new grads that I've precepted or that I've talked to or nurses that are reflecting on their new grad experience, a lot of them have the same kind of emotions and feelings because there is a huge learning curve when you're starting out as a nurse. So the beginner nurse is a nurse that can kind of see different patterns in different situations and they can see different components of situations but not necessarily prioritize in them. I would say that this was kind of from about six months off of orientation to about a year to a year and a half total of being a nurse. Um, probably more like six to eight months it took me in this because it took me a while to kind of get away from just the skills to kind of starting thinking about higher level things about what's happening with that patient. And granted, in nursing school, you talk about a lot of these things, but some of that kind of leaves you and it's different when you're actually taking care of that patient. You start kind of understanding how different comorbidities can affect each other, um, talking about like how different roles in the hospital can help or hinder the care of a patient um, and talk, and getting more into like, what does it mean that they really have a certain diet, getting into more of the nitty gritty about some of the higher level thinking that's not just your skills. And like I said, this is stuff that you might have learned in nursing school, but you're learning how to apply some of that. And I think knowing how to respond to certain situations, especially emergent situations, um, maybe even not emergent, but even just urgent, knowing what medication you need to give. That's kind of the next step of getting comfortable with a wide variety of patient scenarios and how you're going to deal with that. In that is also the emotional support given to patients, starting to understand how you communicate differently to different patients depending on their needs um, and how to motivate them, doing a lot of uh, motivational interviewing with your patient um, so that they can get patient education while they're with you so that they can hopefully get better and take those skills with them so to prevent them from coming back. But those are the things you're kind of starting to pull at as you are a more of a beginner nurse. And even with that, some of that stuff might not be what you're thinking on a day to day just because you're trying to get through the shift. You're like, how do I get through my task list for the day? How do I time manage for the day and get these patients OK? And I feel like a lot of that is what you're focused on for that first year, even up to a year and a half. And then the next stage is the competent nurse. This is when you're kind of starting to see more of the long term, long range goals of patient care. And I think it took me about 
really probably at least two years to get to this point. I think what helped me to kind of get to the competent stage was the fact that I was able to precept after about a year and then they had me as a charge nurse after about a year and a half. So that kind of pushed me that last bit of that first year, the, between the first and second year, to be able to start understanding and connecting dots. Because as a preceptor, when you're teaching someone about these skills or how to think critically as a nurse, you also are yourself being reminded of like, okay, why am I doing this? And you're trying to get your preceptee to understand, don't just think about what you're doing, but why you're doing it. And I think being a charge nurse also, also prepared me for that because we're also thinking about, okay, how about discharging? Does this patient have the resources that they need to be able to be successful in their discharge? What about the social determinants of health? How does that impact this patient's care? What about even at a deeper level, all of their comorbidities, how does that change the care of this patient? What about their social dynamics with their support system? How does that change the care? How do I work with social work? How do I work with pharmacy to be able to get the patient what, it, what they need? And I think that being a charge nurse, as stressful as it was to be thrown into a charge position after only about a year and a half, two years, it did teach me a lot when we did multidisciplinary rounds. Um, and I got to hear about the different patients and what are we doing at a care plan level for this patient overall. It wasn't just me focused on like, how do I get them through this shift of what they need, but it's how do we go the next step of discharging them and making sure that they don't have to come back and be readmitted. So I think to be competent, I think it's gonna take about two years um, to start feeling that way, maybe up to three years if you're not in a charge position or you haven't been precepting. I will say it was around a year and a half to two years when I stopped feeling like anxious coming to work. Like I would still be stressed to a degree because depending on the acuity of the floor, you just never know what's gonna happen. Um, but I felt more confident in myself of like, okay, like I don't think I'm gonna make a huge med error today because I'm pretty confident with like the medications I've started to see and be familiar with. And I also know the resources that I have available to me. I know who I can ask if I have a question. And I know I'm not dumb for, answer, for asking certain questions. So that gave me more internal confidence. But I think precepting at about a year started that journey of feeling more confident, being able to teach someone else and then being charged teaching and also leading certain things on the unit. Um, as well as that was around the time when I started getting active in my unit practice council, which also helped me to go a step further, learning about patient satisfaction, learning about what are our rates for pain management overall in the unit? What is, what is our fall rate? So like even that stuff was a little bit higher level of understanding how those um, outcome measures impacts the unit overall and, and impacts the individual patients, but how it also impacts reimbursement and how it impacts the hospital overall. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it encouraged you and kind of gave you like a little bit of what to expect um, and how long it might take for you to start feeling more confident as a nurse. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. And I will see you in the next video, guys. All right. Peace.